Listen, it's no going back and it feels so good. It feels so good. So, I'm the king of reminiscing. Listen, I just got out of the shower. Bear with me. Last time I was too close to the microphone. So, my fault. But, um, listen, I'm the king of reminiscing. I, listen, I'll be at work and I'll be listening to songs. Like, I'll be in, I'll be in my work truck. And certain songs that come on. I'm the type of person that I attach memories to specific times in my life. Even if the song wasn't playing. <laughs> even if that specific song was not playing at that point in my life. I still will start to think and reminisce about things in the past. But lately, I've been letting go, letting God. You feel what I'm saying? I've been moving forward. Um, and the memories start to become less and less. And I can kind of like think of think of them as like a faded thought to where I'd be like, dang, I remember that to the point where I, I try to like attach to the point where no, no more. I no longer try to attach everything to a past situation because I was mentally stuck in the past for a long time. I think it was mainly because growing up, I was so certain in what I thought was going on or what I thought was right or what I believed I call it uh, confidently delusional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was around the the head of being confidently du- delusional. Narcissists. I always say narcissists are confidently delusional. And considering how I grew up and the family I grew up in and stuff like that, I adopted those same you know ways of operating and ways of thinking because I grew up under a narcissist. You feel what I'm saying? And God bless that person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to spread love, but at least I tried to. But I reminisce so much, like to the point where you can, you can, I got so many old videos, so many old pictures. I deleted my Snapchat. I I had videos from like, man, on Snapchat, I had videos probably from before the pandemic, 2019. I had videos of partying. I'm kind of mad I deleted those because I wanted to make some content and have actual footage. So it's not like I'm just on here talking to y'all, telling y'all about certain things. Hold on, my book not showing you know what I'm saying? Let's let's ring this back a little bit. I just wanted to get a little little um you know what I mean close and personal with y'all. So I br- I moved my mic a little bit to the you know to 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 the to the screen, but um throughout my journey I really had to let go. I really had to learn to let go. And I still think of things from the past, but I don't I don't have a negative thought towards things from the past anymore. And if you feel like you like attached to the past and you think it negatively don't just try to be like oh i'm watching this video and josh said that or don't try to watch somebody else's video on letting go of the past because it's not that simple because one you thinking of the thing from the past and then on a deeper realm you got to ask yourself why are you attached to that thing from the past or whatever the case may be i think more so like i said i was delusionally confident and and, and i didn't realize how deep this world was and i um when I eventually woke up, it kind of like shocked me when I really started to to peep or realize what was going on out here. But I want to share a Bible scripture. I haven't done this on one of my YouTube videos sharing a Bible scripture, but I'm just going to be very, I'm going to do this very often because this book, this book, the these Bible scripture books literally basically saved my life when I was homeless, when I was living out my car, when I was basically sleeping on a train every night in uh, Southern California. Um, so this one right here, bro, this one is dope. All right. So this one, this, this one is on moving on, right? It says the Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? And me, it wasn't the fact that I was trying to understand stuff per se. It was more so I automatically felt like I knew what was going on regardless like whatever information I don't the thing is when I look back right so I got my I got my iPad open right now and I just look back on certain this was me what is this 2 years ago this yeah 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 so this was April 1st 2022 right this was literally when I realized that I was the black sheep and you know I was sitting in my apartment in Philly talking about talk or whatever the case may be but the fact that that's only like 2 years ago right going on 3 years and the fact that I didn't even, like, I felt like I knew so much. Not only at that time, I'm talking about, like, 
even further back. Let's go further back. It was all right. Here we go right here. All right. So this is 2020. It's funny because when I see certain things like from that far, like in the past, it feels like. How can I say this? It feels like I I remember being there, but I don't resonate with my mind frame at that time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I was a completely different person at that time. And the work that I've done on myself, what, in the past, what's that, 2022, two, four years? Let's say three years, because I really started the work, most of the work, three years ago. Going on three years ago in August, right? I feel like I don't even recognize that version of me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't even recognize that josh which is oh my god somebody messaged me i hate when somebody messaged me when i'm doing something but even though they don't know but but anyways yeah so i don't even recognize that person and that's what that's what life is about is about growth i feel like i grow every day like even with my job i'm all day i'm listening to personal development stuff i'm listening to i got so addicted in the past three years once i realized that i was attaching myself to the past so much once i realized that Certain things that was going on in my life, I got so addicted to personal development. And I think it was because, like, before, like, even when I was younger, I remember being, like, seven, eight, nine, you feel what I'm saying? Sitting on the step and not really, um, and not really knowing what direction to go, you feel what I'm saying? In regards to, hold on, Rafet. Not really knowing what re- direction to go in regards to um, what exactly I wanted to work on or heal from. Because I felt like I had this thing internally where I knew something was up or where I knew I had some level of trauma or whatever the case may be. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you got to work on. We all got something to work on. I, I knew it. But at the same time, I didn't know what direction to go. So... Once I went through like, you know, some tough relationships, friendships, whatever you want to call it, it kind of like pushed me in a direction which opened up like all these different avenues of um of different ways to go. Now it's like, you know how you got a tree and it got a bunch of branches and limbs and stuff. Now it's like unlimited branches and limbs that I can go this way, that way, that way, that way. So like I said, I put myself in position now to where I'm just endlessly working on myself every single day. And it was a period where for like the past two years, even when I was, you know, living on my car, all that stuff like that, even when I was in California, it was a period to where it wasn't one day, whether I'm working, whether I'm not working, whether I'm at the gym 24 hours because I ain't got nowhere to stay, X, Y, and Z. It wasn't one day that I didn't indulge in my Bible scriptures. It wasn't one day that I didn't do some type of personal development, whether it was watching YouTube videos, whether it was reading something, whether it was indulging in some type of philosophy, whether it was whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Um, And that allowed me to, like I said, change my mind frame in regards to how the how I see the past, because I had like a really negative connotation on how I see the past, because for so long like i said it was like um i was angry in a sense at myself now that i think about it yeah i was kind of frustrated because i'm like dang i thought i knew this 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 and this but in reality i was lost in the sauce you know what i'm saying like what i say delusionally confident but you know it's all a, a a learning process and you know this reminds me of like the rappers and stuff like you know P and B Rock. He from Philly. I'm from Philly. Shout out to him. Let's use him as an example. I always see a lot of rappers, the Fifty Cents, the and stuff like that, right? Where they live a certain life. They live in that hood, hood mentality. They move in a certain way, right? Then they reach a certain point. For the most part, not all of them. Some of them just continuously be crash outs, but they typically reach a certain point. Where their mindset changes. And is is interesting to think about. Because they no longer identify with that old version of themselves. That was a crash hour toxic. But 
that version of themselves got them to where they needed to go because the the world fuels the world loves toxicity and drama so but if they weren't that toxic version of themselves you know what i'm saying if they didn't take that risk then they would never become who they who they wanted to become you feel what i'm saying um but at the same time most of them hit that threshold but it's sad because some people like i said pnb rock as an example didn't get a chance to turn a corner so when you listen like his old music and stuff and it was still in that hood mentality and stuff like that but or even like Tupac it it kind it kind of puts things into perspective because it makes you think like what their potential could be because they did what they had to do to get out of it but if you if we were able to see them turn the corner then they could probably based off of going through all of that that hood mentality living that certain life being around a lot of dysfunction and childhood trauma and x y and z you know what i mean when they decide to turn the corner and become more wise and you know kind of like 50 cents start moving being you know he still got that how he used to be because it's who he is but at the same time he um you can tell that he's moving a little different because he's not that young reckless kid no more whatever the case may be or young reckless young adult and you get to see him evolve you know what i'm saying you get to see him um turn a corner so like i said with the it do you Tupac was ahead of his time do you see like when he, he was 25 when he got when he when he died or whatever the case may be or even uh pnb rock was 30 right but like a lot of them they sacrificed they did x y and z and yeah they moved a certain way that's perceived as toxic but if they weren't that toxic version of themselves because of how the world works they would not be who they are you know what i'm saying so now i'm at the point where i can turn the corner and it's hard because when you turn the corner, sometimes you 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 indulge. Um, uh, Waka Flocka, also a rapper, talked about this too. You know, he he rapped for years and years, and then he turned the corner. He started, you know, indulging and following God. He started to see things completely different, so he stopped making music. And he's like, when God gives you a second chance, you gotta take it. You know what I mean? So like, but regardless of that, the 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 God stuff and stuff like that, people turn the corner. So he turned the corner and he decided to move a completely different way. And um, I feel like that's where I'm at right now, especially in regards to seeing things a certain way or um, or or moving on, letting go, letting God and no longer moving in that young, naive, feeling like I know everything or feeling like I got it all figured out. Um, But you need that part because that's part of who you are in order for you to turn into who you are now. So. You know what I'm saying? If anybody can relate to this, you know what I'm saying? Letting go, let God think, changing. Or or back in the day, you felt like you had it all figured out. I feel like most of us do when we're younger. Um, but it's a blessing to still be here and be able to turn the corner. You know what I'm saying? Turn that corner and then move how you want to move now based off of more knowledge and um, and more self-awareness and certainty. We still don't know it all, but we know more than we did when we was a buck when we was younger you feel what i'm saying if anybody can relate to this tell me if you can't it is what it is we all different y'all know my slogan is your boy josh different i'm different you different we different i'm out